Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today we are going to be talking about the new world trailer for Need for Speed Payback. Now, the there's so many cool cars in this trailer that I've tried to go over as many as I can, but for example, uh, in this particular shot, my favorites being the Volvo Amazon and that Buick uh, GNX, there's so much crazy and, and there's more, there's more to come later on in the trailer and that's the crazy part. Now, there's a lot of detail in this shot right here. It's so much. We have a wide-body GTR. We have a Huracan. We have a wide-body VET. We have what looks like a Diablo GTR. We have an R8. And then up front, a little tricky to see. And I don't want to, like, you know, say it's one thing and then have it be something else. But so many cars in this particular shot. And then you've got the woods and the trees in the background, which basically confirms, like, twisty, twisty, curvy, wooded mountain roads. Oh, I'm so excited. Also here, I wanted to grab a shot of not only that Diablo, but the P1 GTR, because that P1 GTR, dude, it's, I think it's a P1 GTR, it could be a P1 with like, customizations on it and stuff like that, I'm not sure, either way, it's awesome to have, I hope it's a, G it's a P1 GTR, but, I mean, we'll see, time will tell, but, uh, but yeah, dude, that, that car, I mean, regardless of if it's a customized P1 or a P1 GTR, I'm happy it's here, I'm, actually kind of blown away that it's here so awesome for the, like i'm so happy that they brought that car into the game This shot, really all it shows is the back end of the Porsche 918 Spider, which is gorgeous in itself, but what it really does show is how much detail that, that has been put into the cars themselves. I mean, like, you can just stare at the back end of that 918 and, and keep picking out little details here and there. I'm really, really impressed with the level of detail that I'm seeing here, and it's like, it's crazy, right? Like... You wouldn't think to see that, but you do, and, it, and, and you will. It's there, and it's crazy. Here we get a chance to grab our first look at the S2000 in Need for Speed Payback, which is really cool to see. I'm glad that that car is represented here. Um, it's, it's funny because the S2000 has always been a little bit weird in terms of games because sometimes it's like super heavily represented, and sometimes you never see it at all. But I think it's cool that it's here, and I'm super pumped to drive it. We also have our good old friend, the RX-7 FD, which you'll see a little bit more of later in the trailer, but seeing the FD and the S2000 both together, that's just, that's just cool. I mean, that also kind of goes back to those underground days a little bit, and uh, kind of like, kind of just takes me there in my head, but I'm like, okay, cool, the tuners are really well represented here after all. Now, let me just be the first to say, I am absolutely in love with the front end of that Golf. I mean, and yes, sure, there's a gorgeous BMW M2 behind it as well, and to the left, what looks like a Ford Focus RS, but still, God, that Golf looks so mean. So, so, so mean. I can't wait to build my own. I'm all about building my own, and dude, oh my God. It's got wide fenders, it's got the wing on the back, it's got the design, those headlights, God, it's so gorgeous. Plenty of challenges await you as you right here, you guys are going to get another shot of that FDRX7, but with a little bit more detail um, and more of like a singular shot of just that car drifting down a mountain road. And you can see there's also a little bit of a like a slightly multicolored body panel thing going on. And I don't know if that's intentional or if that's more of a thing about that's like how he, uh, how they got the car, I think it's most likely intentional, to be honest, but I think it's cool that you have that option, um, and I'm seeing that multicolored body panel thing, and I'm, I'm starting to think to myself, I'm like, huh, what could I do with that, and, and the answer is many, many, many things. Also, as we go through the trailer, make sure to pay attention here uh, to the drag racing, and you can see where the you can see where they have the tack positioned. You can see how you got to nail that perfect shift every time if you want to make if you want to win that race. Um, and you can see also we have a drag league right here, and there's so many things to do. We have this off road stuff. The off roading I think is going to be really fun because it's definitely something something fun and new to uh, the series. We also have this off road league, which obviously, like coincidentally enough is headed by a Subaru, which 
honestly, I'm gonna say is not particularly surprising to me, but I also will say that I think it's cool to see that it's being headed up by a Subaru, so that's, that's really cool to see. But at the end of the day, though, there's so many cool new things that they're doing with Need for Speed Payback that I'm, I, I can't wait to get my hands on it, dude. Like, we can go from an off-road Civic to a Liberty Walk GTR and then also find these derelict cars and restore them and then build them into whatever we want. Like this Datsun Z, for example, which is now a massive, crazy drag car. Like, who else, wh where else are you going to do, you know, are you going to do that on that same level? So... That, to me, is like one of the coolest things about the entire game, really. Now, before we finish, we gotta talk about this. We gotta talk about this truck. Because Need for Speed hasn't really been a truck game, and I don't necessarily think that they're moving in the direction of, you know, being like, oh, it's like a truck game or something, but the fact that we have this thing here, oh, that is absolutely insane, and I cannot wait to get my hands on it in the game itself. Like, dude, I'm gonna build, I'm gonna build so many of those. I'm gonna have, like, I'm probably gonna have too many of them, and I'm gonna probably fill up too many, like, too many spaces or however many spaces they allow you to have uh, in your garage with these trucks. Because, I mean, dude, off-road will be crazy with these, like, street-style setups will be crazy with these. I'm so, like, so pumped to have, like, access to custom, like, actual custom trucks in a Need for Speed game. That's something to be excited about. That That's 100% something to be excited about. But if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this trailer analysis, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.